Here we have a perfect example of both the leaf and characteristic stem of hornbeam or musclewood, Carpinus carolinina, in the birch family, the Betulaceae. The stem of this tree is often described as fluted or undulating. You'll notice this is not a characteristic of the bark. The bark is just smooth and gray. This undulating muscle-like bark is actually a characteristic of the wood, that the bark is thin enough to show through. However, this undulating muscle-like bark is really only distinct on larger stems, let's say stems larger than two inches diameter. In that case, the leaves become meaningful, but the leaves are relatively indistinct. They just look like the leaves of most other birch family trees. The leaves of musclewood are most easily mixed up with those of eastern hop hornbeam. Now, when both trees are mature, their bark is incredibly distinct and will differentiate the two. However, in youth, you will only have leaves accessible. The bark will not yet be distinct. The main difference between the leaves of these two trees for me is when I touch the leaf of a musclewood or hornbeam, I can feel how smooth it is. There's very little, if any, pubescence or hair. The leaves of hop hornbeam, however, which otherwise look very similar to those of musclewood, are fuzzy. They are densely pubescent. When I find a leaf that I'm unsure of, I reach out and pet it. If it's fuzzy, I know it's hop hornbeam. If it's smooth, I know it's hornbeam. This pubescence is also visible when you bend the leaf and look over the top. So I touch the leaf, hop hornbeam. Touch this leaf, musclewood or hornbeam.